So welcome back to a brand new video. Today we got a little something different for y'all. Uh, we're gonna be talking about crypto. And before you click off, wait, 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 wait. I'm not gonna be talking about some boring male manipulator type shit right now. Now we got a little bit of a story right now. So this story begins with a company based out of Hong Kong. Bitfinex, it's a virtual currency exchange or whatever the fuck. And six years ago, this company got 120,000 fucking Bitcoin stolen, which back then wasn't as much money, but now, now that's worth 3.6 fucking billion dollars. But firstly, what I want to say, I don't condone stealing the money from this company. I could give less of a shit. In fact, fuck it, steal from big companies. That's Noah approved. Yeah, fuck yeah, why not? But you see, what I have a problem with is who the fuck stole this shit. The dude's name is Ilya Lichtenstein, and then his wife, uh, his name is Heather Morgan. And they used some of this money to fund Heather's rap career. And that's what I really want to take a look at because this shit is not good. And what we have right here is Rap Anthem from Misfits and Weirdos, Versace Buddha music video from 2019. I bet this shit's going to be a banger. What do you think? But before we get into the music, what's really fucking funny is how these motherfuckers were caught. So you see, the way cryptocurrency works is you can trade it anonymously online. The trades online are done completely anonymously. But if you want to change that virtual currency to a physical currency like the USD or the fucking British pound, whatever the fuck it is, you have to to attach an identity to that. So that fucking means like social security number type shit, right? And what the fucking US government did is they just fucking tracked the fucking trades until they got to the fucking, where it was attached to the fucking identity of these people. So yeah, it was really fucking dumb. If you're gonna, if you're gonna steal $3.6 billion, uh, at least be smarter about it. Never forget, weirdest is most original. If you have to proclaim that you are the weirdest, most original, da 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 da, I'm sorry, but you are not interested in the fucking slightest. I think the first thing that stands out to me is the fact that that didn't rhyme. <laughs> that was like the opening bar. That was the fucking opening bar and she couldn't even fucking rhyme that shit. I can understand like sometimes if you get pigeonholed like fucking, I don't know, like into a fucking big ass verse and like that you don't know where the fuck to go you don't know what words you don't want to rewrite it that so you have one line that kind of doesn't really rhyme but that was the opening bar how the fuck do you fuck that rhyming words is not that hard you literally could have gone to fucking like rhyme zone or whatever the fuck that website is and just typed in the word and got it something spirit of a revolutionary power of a dictator love to be contrary but i'm fly like a gator what did that mean heather you were someone who had billions of dollars at your fingertips not readily available mind you i understand the difference between da 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 and liquid funds and whatever the fuck but you had enough money in your life where you didn't have to work, you didn't have to worry about none of that shit, right? You could have focused completely on your art, your craft. So what the fuck happened? I'm 38 seconds into this and I want to turn it off. I have no desire to continue listening to this song. Even for the joke appeal of this is someone who stole $3.6 billion worth of shit, even for that added factor, there is nothing drawing me to this. It is actively pushing me away. That is impressive. You made something actively so shit that even for the joke factor that you fucking stole $3.6 billion, I don't want to watch. <laughs> How the fuck did you do that? Sparkle on my little finger, hell of a razzle, ear to ear, poised to throw a zinger, playing on their worst fear. Russell Khan, the Versace better win. What I think is really funny is how she has absolutely no idea what to do with her body. She keeps doing this, but not in a way that she's confident with herself. It's very much like timid, timidly moving her arms back and forth like this while she's like lip syncing the lyrics. If you're going to have $3.6 billion, at least have the confidence of a billionaire. Like those motherfuckers, billionaires are shitty people. Shitty people with huge egos. Act like that. Come on. Russell comes the name that hot grandma you really want to bang always run the guilt game ever since I was 15. I pray we go back to better days where words had definitions because you gilf 15 that's physically not possible I mean in a sick twisted sense if you're going to talk about pedophiles like in child mothers you could say milf but you cannot say gilf and if you said milf that'd be weird in itself and did gilf's even weirder what you popped out a child? You popped out a child when you were seven, and then the seven-year-old popped out a child. What the hell? What is that? What am I supposed to interpret from that? These bars don't make any sense. They're just random words written down and then said on top of a beat. 
with no flow, really. Also no rhyme structure necessarily. And for the amount of money you had, the video looks like shit. You had like millions. <laughs> Actively at your disposal that you could have used. The Versace better win, got the bling that win. With the Berber might, I'll win every fight. My swag ain't just lit, so we really packed a hit. Bobby fashion so legit. Pussy bitches saying stop about to pop, ain't gon' quit. They say rise a filthy bitch, but they're jealous of my tits. My eyes, my nose, my bling, my clothes, these rings, my hoes. Everyone knows I don't fuck with no bros. If I own the plate. If I owned a fucking plate, I would do the fucking little joke where I'm like, oh, give me that. I don't own a plate. All I own are bowls. But just know, that's what I'm doing. When I look at the camera like this, it is that same disapproval. Bitch is Turkish, don't pressure luck. I just can't handle them Kurdish. Fuck your game, Austin Romance. Rather be taken a taxidermy class. Okay, well, that's enough of that. Um, We're going to take a look at the other music video that I found because it's more recent. So hopefully... I'm Bit better. So here we got Female Texio shuts down Creeps official music video from February 28th of 2020. So this one, this one, it, there, there's been like a year, around a year for her to come into herself, come into her art, to her persona as an artist. And let's see what the fuck happened. Never been much for romance. Rather do my jerk off dance. Okay. I will admit that sucked. But I liked it. That hit the minimum threshold for like, okay, that's passable. Go on, make me a sandwich. You annoying, like vag itch. So lame. It's fucking tragic. Okay, yeah, that one sucked as well. Um, I don't know what's going on. I guess this just goes to show that bitch money can't buy talent. It's just, it, it, they can't. I'm sorry. You, you either have it or you don't. And what's crazy is technically, technically, if we're going to consider this person a rapper technically she could be considered like the second richest rapper on the planet which i'm not going to consider a rapper because i feel like that's disrespectful to black art and black culture but still weird world we live in i think this just goes to show that like only cool people should steal 3.6 billion dollars because like there was some cool shit that could have happened with that you could have like i don't know start a revolution oh you could have done something cool you could have i don't know mutual aid you could have helped people you could have stolen the money like Robin Hood, give it back to the give it back to the poor, give it back to the working class, redistribute the wealth a little bit at least. But no, you made the worst music possible and now you're probably gonna get 25 years in prison. So yeah, that's objectively the worst option you could have gone with. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, um, comment down below. If you want to click the fucking click the fucking thing right here, there's a video, go watch it. It's pretty good. And also subscribe and turn post notifications on so you never miss an upload. Anyways, y'all, have a great night and goodbye.